Good afternoon, people watching in 65 again. Lisa Boyce. Let me give you a verse of scripture. This is out of Psalm 73, 26. It says, My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is to strengthen my heart and my portion forever. Forever. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve. That God gave his only begotten son that whosoever... You and I are whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which again, <laughs> going to happen at any time and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, teach you, encourage you, change you. That's what he does. Another video came out on war news. Um, Hamas armed with AT4 javelin. says a deadly surprise awaits Israeli Defense Force in Gaza. Tons and tons of NATO weapons landed in Gaza. Hamas has released a video confirming the information that has been circulating for some time. And they said that large stocks of American and generally NATO weapons that have been delivered to Ukraine are in Gaza. There's a video here that sh uh, where Hamas shows that it has a large quantity of AT-4 and LAW anti-tank missiles and rockets for use against the Israeli army. Uh, Mer Merkava, main battle tanks in Gaza. It is known that many of the weapons donated by the U.S. to Ukraine ended up on the black market. I did a video a few months ago about that. But the exact way the Palestinians used to acquire them isn't known. A few days ago, Russian, Turkish, and American media had warned Israel that Hamas has large quantities of weapons that it took unknown how from Ukraine. Well, let me tell you how. Hmm. Let's just think back. Let's think back for a minute. What happened in Afghanistan? They were starting this up back then. Remember that thing, that little... Diddy that happened two and a half years ago back in Afghan. Talking about, they talked about M4, various types of anti-tank such as Javelin and Man Pad, uh, Stingers and others. Ukraine's military intelligence service has accused Russia of transferring Western weapons it obtained from Ukraine Ukrainian warehouses to various fronts in the war on Hamas to blame Kiev for allegedly selling arms to terrorists. Turkish online media outlet uh, published information claiming seven days ago that Hamas in its conflict with Israel is using American weapons previously delivered by the United States to Ukraine. Yeah. The publication notes that the son 
of former U.S. President Donald Trump was the first to notice who saw in a re recent report by the British TV channel Sky News how one of the Palestinian fighters was showing off an American-made M4 automatic carbine. Marjorie, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, known for her criticism against uh, Sleepy. She wrote on her social media page that Hamas may be receiving American weapons from Ukraine. So Grain called on Washington and Jerusalem to track the serial numbers of the M4 rifles. This thing just gets better and better. Now, in the meantime, I just got something in too. And this is saying that Israel, <laughs> the Israeli army unleashes game-changing weapon that, that neutralizes all threats. It's called the Iron Sting. So the Israeli forces just released footage of the Iron Sting system launching a mortar, a mortar uh, bomb to take out a rocket launcher in its first ever use yesterday. So the Iron Sting, described as an innovative and accurate mortar bomb, is one of a variety of weapons being used to stop dozens of terrorists. So the Israeli Air Force posted on X, along with a video it said, showed the 120 millimeter mortar decimating an enemy rocket launcher. The Israeli army used a weapon system in conjunction with the Israeli Air Force. The weapon system used uses a precise laser, a GPS guided mortar munition to engage targets in dense urban environments while reducing the possibility of collateral damage and preventing injury to non-combatants. I'm going to link this in the description box. I'm sure I will be back on later today. I'm sure. Um, this is actually off of Fox News. So this thing is going to go on and on. Now, Biden, in all his sleepy glory, is trying to postpone, trying to stop, I read it somewhere, Israel from going forward with a ground invasion. Just yet. Just wait a while. Yeah. I'm going to link this in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.